Hello, welcome. We're going to do a full moon reading. We've got two full moons in August. It's a super moon too. It's just remembered. It's a super moon. Lots of manifestation energy, power. Really powerful month, August, because we have two super moon, two full moons. You have the uh, Lionsgate portal that's open, and you have eight eight. 8th of August, which is also um, a power energy. So, what's going on? We're going to do a full moon and see what's going to come about on this full moon here. What's the energy of full moon? First. We'll take that one. So we have full moon in Aquarius. Show the world the real you. Being authentic, being who you want to be in this full moon. Washing away things that no longer work with you. Washing away um, and being unique. Aquariuses are very unique. You tap into that Aquarius energy. Side note, I never know why Aquarius isn't a water sign. Because it really should be, shouldn't it? it's not surrender to the divine full moon another full moon so that power energy that looks like a super moon big lovely moon there that energy we're taking in some healing energy what i'm hearing from spirit so i'm, I'm seeing that indigos the deep energy of psyche spiritual energy of healing it's so connecting to your higher self maybe connecting to spirit guys connecting to the universe goddess god whatever it is to you what it represents to you connecting to it and surrendering what you need to talk to them about let it all out maybe journal journal over this full moon okay Full moon in Capricorn. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Yeah, I just feel like, you know, um, sticking to your guns there. You've, maybe for some of you, now take what represents and leave the rest, but it's like some of you maybe have been gun hole to do something, feel a bit stuck or frustrated, and it's coming to an end or you may feel like you're feeling a little bit freer you feel less frustrated things are going to go maybe go your way a little more in this full moon but i think that energy of surrender is definitely there so journal out what you no longer want to receive and what you want to receive you know set out what you want to release and the intentions of what you want to bring in Great time for the super moon. Lots of manifestation energy in this one. It's a great time to have a, a deep thoughts on um, your manifestation energy. So we've got a new start coming. Straight after saying a tough I, uh, cycle ends, we've got a new beginnings card. A new start is coming in the new moon. So the cycle could be that you've got a two week period of change understanding is the word i'm hearing understanding things around you understanding your a little bit about yourself let's go to these ones full moon we should say the first full moon in august oh i wanted to so we have intuition intuition so like i just said helping and connecting to that inner you that higher self of you um is using that intuition in this energy and knowing what you want to do bringing clarity so there's clarity to be had and you have the knowledge it's inside of you so giving yourself some quiet time even just just gain everything out of the brain um, and, and putting it on paper. Um, it's just like releasing and then surrendering. Using your inner mind, your higher self comes in. Okay. 
we've got speak to your soul so it's a second message speak to you speak to the inner being that higher self the inner soul wants to talk to you has a message you have the knowledge already to do something the second card that came out was challenge yourself so it's like for some reason here maybe you need to pick up that energy and challenge yourself to do something in the next from uh, the full moon to the new moon give yourself a challenge give yourself an intention a goal a dream and try to work for it it's not about punishing yourself if you don't succeed it is about the journey it is about the journey of moving yourself and bringing yourself something new it is about celebration not defeat failure or anything like that it's about the journey and movement and growth for you it's about learning you're learning something about yourself that higher self that inner being speaking to your soul has a message challenge yourself challenge yourself in this full moon to do so is the message this is a deck that i've created it's called the golden goddess I think we've got the energy of renewal, renewal, that's re rebirthing, um, and renewal. Just noticed something has come into my summer house that I do not want to come into my summer house or my little place. It better not come near me, otherwise it's going to get uh, going to get whacked by some cards. <laughs> Just give me a second. Let me open the door. That would be no fun to be um, attacked by a wasp while filming, would it? Like, oh, it's coming closer. I do actually have, um, let me find it, I have a wasp in, in this deck, um, which is focus. They're very focused, aren't they? Once they decide that's their target, they're very, very determined to get their target. So a little, little wasp was like, you're not being, I'm not being your target here let's go have some freedom outside <laughs> but they are very very if you want to take it as a message that a wasp come in they're very very focused um determined creatures that decide well i'm having your apple um i don't really care what you say i'm gonna come for it anyway um so maybe take you that message that you need to focus be determined you can tell I don't edit my videos at the moment. My uh, eldest daughter may jump on board with me and help me out because she's doing um, a media course, which uh, might help me out. <laughs> One last card before we finish. Evolution, growth, energy. We're moving forward. Evolution, we are changing. I mean, we don't ultimately, yes, I am a, a different person maybe than I was when I was much younger, I'm fundamentally the same, but you know, life gives you lessons and you adapt and change and you evolve. So there's that evolution, change, growth, energy, challenge is the word. So we're going to finish up. I did hear that, I don't know. So passion, the little bee, bringing in some passion, some energy, some challenge for this full moon. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you for joining me and I shall see you next time.